Well, there are two great genres. Uh, one is the giant monster movie, the kaiju movie, and the other one is the giant robot movie that we all grew up with uh, as kids. And this is essentially, in terms of spectacle and, and uh, scope and size, uh, is a movie that encompasses both of those subgenres. And uh, it's almost like uh, the action in the movie is what you would have dreamt to see when you were 11 years old. I wanted very much this movie to not be about a country, particular country saving the world, because that movie I've seen too many times, you know? I wanted it to be the world saving the world. So I needed uh, a, a very strong black leader, a Japanese girl, two Australians, a Peruvian CTO, uh, uh, an, an American pilot, all of them together are necessary a British scientist, to all of them are necessary to save the world. When we started planning on the kaijus, you know, this comes from, uh, as essentially from Japanese movies, this means monster and uh, a giant monster. And uh, the kaijus in Japan have many, many forms. You know, they, they can have your basic insectoid, reptilian, uh, flying, uh, underwater kaijus, then there's a floral or vegetable-based kaijus, and then they can get really, really insane. No, what I like when I, when I design monsters, I, I, I constantly am trying to find a way to be able to look at a monster for 10, 15, 20 minutes or more and have that design constantly transforming. The drift is to have a link uh, between two different bodies that can uh, instantly read each other if you want to go left, you don't have to say, go to the left. Uh, you, if you want to uh, go into a defense pose, you can go into a defense pose. The idea I came up with was to systematize it through martial arts. So there, there would be a basic language, uh, basic number of poses that you would be able to adopt in a fight with a kaiju. So uh, it's very easy to know that vocabulary for the fighters. And I wanted to make one uh, the type of scientist that is big personality, very arrogant, very cocky, sure of himself, tattoos all over the body, you know, sort of a celebrity chef. You know, I wanted him to, to have the mentality of a celebrity chef. And the other guy is more like a, a tweed-wearing, uh, English, phlegmatic, introvert that never leaves the lab. And, and they are incompatible. One of them is arrogant and full of himself, and the other one is modest and, and very much by the numbers and hates this other guy being such a maverick. And, and, and between the two, I, I wanted the dynamic, again, of people that don't get along, but when the time comes, can w function together really, really well. 